what is the GarageBand file transfer folder and how do you use it? Well, it's an interesting one because if you've played around here in GarageBand and you've brought in your own sounds, you'll know that here in the loops icon, not only do you have Apple loops, but you have this one. You have the files option here. You can see I've brought in some MIDI sounds. I've got the, the WAV file that I've exported here. That's what we've just been working on here on the, on the live show. And uh, we've got a MIDI track there. Now, I quite often actually delete things out of here because it gets a little bit cumbersome because every time you import something, it goes here into your GarageBand file transfer folder. So let's show you how this works. If we browse items from the file app, let's just find a random bit of audio, shall we? If we go into my Studio Live Today folder, Oop, that's my GarageBand one. We'll tap again. We'll go back. We'll go back to iCloud Drive and we'll go into Studio Live today. Uh, let's just find a little one of my little video. Uh, this one, music, background and stings. All right. So we'll bring in this GarageBand Weekly. This is an appropriate one to bring in. See, see that it's saved on the cloud. So we've browsed this one. We've downloaded it and it pops in there. So if we want to add this one into a track, we can now just bring it on and chuck it in. And there you go. We can bring in the very cool uh, Garage Band Weekly theme song by our man Kronk Song. So that's cool. We use this in our project. We're done. But every time we go back to our files, it's still there. <laughs> So how do we get rid of it? Well, there's a couple of ways here. The first is that if we slide across on this from right to left, we can just simply delete it. And this will delete it out of our loops and it'll also delete it out of the files location where this is stored. And this is the important thing to understand. Here in our files, if you go to on my iPad and you go to GarageBand, here we've got our GarageBand file transfer folder. So this is where those two files are there. So if we didn't want, say, this Thompson Twins one here, in fact, we, we do want that because that's a cool MIDI file. So we don't want this one. We can actually just delete this from our files app. And once we delete it from there, if we go back over here to GarageBand, and boom, there it is, it's gone. So this is just a representation of what you have over here in files. Now, as you saw there, I don't want a bunch of stuff in here. In fact, let's just, let's clutter it up a bit. Let's just bring in, let's import some files. So say we'd come in here, we'll import this one here, the YML theme, we'll pop that in there and we'll bring in uh, this one here, this little short audio clip that we'll pop in there and we'll bring in this one here. So I've, I've brought in a bunch of tracks and a bunch of different um, audio samples and I'm like, okay, I've used all of those now and I don't want them. Yeah, if I say I had 50 of these, would you want to go through here and have to delete the one by one here? Oh, play that one. No, you wouldn't. So what do you do? Well, you can actually come out here. If you go to your files app here, there they all are. <clears throat> Once again, to navigate here, you go on my iPad, you go GarageBand for iOS, you go GarageBand file transfer, and you can actually delete them from here. So you can draw a, actually, no, can you draw a box? I thought you could in the new version. Can you draw a box around? Maybe not, but you can select. So you can select here and you can either select individual ones. So say we didn't want any of these three and we don't want there anymore and you simply delete them and they're gone away. So you can actually manage your files in here. The other cool thing is, let's just say that you had a bunch of things you wanted to bring in at once. Instead of using your GarageBand import over here and having to do one by one by one, yeah, you're probably ahead of me on this, but if we just dump them straight in here, we can put a whole folder of, of sounds in here. So let's try this out. If we go to iCloud Drive, we'll go to my Studio Live Today folder we were playing with there before. Tap it, not not move it. And uh, where is the ones that we were just using? The uh, the stings, music background stings. So let's, uh, let's grab this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap and hold. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it over here in my GarageBand file transfer folder. Tap and hold and hit paste. There you go. It's going to copy in all of these. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's going to be slow because some of these were stored in the cloud. That's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, l let's just find another folder that might have something a little bit smaller in there. That was a, that was a bit of a bit of a miss. We'll, we'll create a uh, a separate one with things that we already have. So let's just uh, let's just grab a couple of these Kronk song ones. We will copy them. Uh, in fact, we'll move them move them from there, and we'll pop them in a separate folder of their own. Uh, where can we put these? We'll go iCloud Drive, we'll make a new folder and we'll just call it test. <laughs> How many people have test folders for things? So we'll move them into test just so that we can show you this, uh, this process a little bit easier. So now if we grab this test folder, again, tap and hold it, we're gonna copy it and we're gonna go to on my iPad, GarageBand for iOS, GarageBand file transfer, 
Oh, it's, it's worked. In the time it took us to do that, it had downloaded them all. So there you go. We'll pop those two in there. So how will these work now? Well, let's come back here to GarageBand. Let's go to our list there. Oh, no. We've got a problem. Why, oh, why, GarageBand, do you not support folders? We don't know, but it doesn't. So this is the slightly sucky thing. You're not going to be able to have your separate folders in there. What you are going to then have to do is come out here and everything has to go in your root directory. I know, boo. So we'd have to grab these. We need to move them and we need to pop them right in the... Whoop, we're in the wrong spot. We need to pop them right here in the GarageBand. Where are you, GarageBand? G. G for GarageBand in the file transfer folder directly. So that way they are right here. And then when you come back over to your GarageBand, they will all be in there. So that's a bit of a pain in the butt. It would be so much easier to support sample libraries and folders of samples here in GarageBand if we could simply have access. Just tap on that one and it would be there. It's there, but it's grayed out. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. So that would be a, a very good way to go. So there you go. There's another thing. Apple, we would like uh, we would like folder access in there too. But it does definitely make it a lot easier. Don't manage your files here in the GarageBand file transfer section in GarageBand. Jump out to your files app and then you can manage all of your files right here in the garage, in the files app here in iOS.